What's up guys, Ants Canada here. Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel. A quite sizable Solenopsis geminata colony uh, just came into my possession and I'm really excited because I want to move them into one of our new items that we just recently made available at AntsCanada.com. And so for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can move a mature ant colony into one of our brand new Ants Canada Omni Nests. Alright guys, so I've got my Omni Nest here. I've added a barrier of simply a mixture of baby powder and rubbing alcohol. Mix those together and with a q-tip I just painted a one inch band um, across the top and around the sides. Um, of course I've placed the lid back on. Another thing I've done is I've uh, hydrated one side of the nest. You can see the blue cotton there. It's nice and moist. Uh, the blue sponge I, sh I should say. I've also included cotton. I've stuffed cotton in there with the sponge um, because this species is um, quite hard to, I guess, uh, not really contain, but I foresee them squeezing into this um, uh, moisture chamber, this hydration chamber. So I've fortified all spaces with some cotton, which, you know, if it uh, gets moldy, I can change easily. Um, and because this species likes moderate to dry nests, I've decided to remove the sponge on this, the sponge and screen, I should say, on this side um, of the nest, and it will become a room for them. Uh, so now that this uh, Omni Nest is prepared, um, the ants are ready to be moved in. Uh, I've also taken the entrance, there's an entrance into the Omni Nest here, and an entrance here. Um, and I've switched this around upside down like so to accommodate this tube which will stick into here. Alright, so now the ants are ready to be moved into this large Ants Canada Omni Nest. And here are the ants. A lot going on in there. Now this is um, a, a colony that came into my possession. It was raised by a friend of mine and it's a very old formicarium of his. The glass has already uh, been broken um, and this colony started off with just a single queen and it's been I believe three or four months now and the colony is massive and it's just ready to be moved into a better home. The colony is also attached to an outworld which is this bucket here by way of a tube and so I've got to come up with a plan of attack on how I'm going to connect the nest to the Omni Nest, the old formicarium, to the Omni Nest over there, and ensure as well that the ants from the outworld, from the old outworld, are connected here to this outworld. The last time I did this, I was stung pretty badly, <laughs> and I expect it to happen again. So um, the best thing you can do, I guess, is to make sure your work area is clean. You're going to have some escapees here and there. It'll help for sure if you remove the lid so that if there are escapees, you just lick your finger, touch the ant, and then flick them into the outworld. Now, if this were a colony from North America, then it would be a lot easier. I could just place them in a cold environment, and then the ants would be slower and much easier to handle. But because this is a tropical species, sticking them in the fridge would probably kill these ants. Okay, I believe what I'm going to do is I am going to detach this tube from here, stick a cotton into the tube so I can contain these ants for now that go into the outworld and stick this tube in here. Now that's going to be the challenge because the tube doesn't perfectly fit into this opening. Um, if you look carefully, there's some cotton there. Let's wrap that around there so that when I stick it into this part here, um, they won't they won't escape all right here we go this cotton swab will be ready to be placed in there whoops all right here we go make the swab that really agitated them <laughs> um, let's see Hmm. 
Okay, let's wait till they calm down for a bit. I'm so nervous, guys. This is a nerve-wracking part. Ants are just ready. They're ready. Okay, I'm gonna... Hmm. I'm so apprehensive. Okay, there we go. Ants escaping. Ooh! And they're biting me! Yes! All over my hand. Ow, ow, ow. 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 Okay. Yes, we get the point. You guys are defending your colony. Ow. Tapping as many ants as I can into the outworld. ASAP. Um, Alright, so now that this outworld section is detached and plugged, I can get... I can put this aside for now. Um, I've got this successfully ta attached to the Omni Nest. And now I'm just going to use the light to encourage them to leave this area and go into the Omni Nest. Now, this is a uh, energy saving light and it doesn't emit that much heat. Uh, so that's why it's kind of close to the formicarium. If this were an incandescent bulb, a normal incandescent bulb, then I probably wouldn't be putting it this close because then I would be burning the ants. But this light should be enough to get the ants to start moving their colony through this tube and into the Omni Nest. The queen is right in here, right there. She's being surrounded by lots and lots of workers because the light is really bothering her. If you look here, the ants have already begun um, the emigration. In terms of this tube, we are going to attach this outworld to the outworld section of the Omni Nest. So, to do that, I'm going to unplug this, and then unplug this, and then just connect. And of course, we've got escapees. Ooh. Ow! Ouch. Yes, they're biting and escaping. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ow. 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 And keeper pains, literally. And now that the setup is all attached and ready to go, um, I'm just going to leave this lamp here to um, encourage them to move out of this nest and into this nest. Um, what I can also do is I can cover the Omni nest just to make it dark and encourage them to really, really move in. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys.